What's going on people? Welcome to GFX Capture. This is another video in the Invato Elements template series where I share with you how to edit and customize After Effects templates. For this video, I've picked up a opener template from Envato Elements, which we'll edit and customize. In case you've missed the previous videos, please check the Envato playlist in my channel or click on the link at the top to take you to the previous videos. Envato Elements has a lot of stock footage, images, templates, fonts, and much more. What's more exciting is that you get a royalty-free license to use the content for commercial use as well. You can use the link in the description below if you want to save on your Envato subscription. So let's start. Download the zip file to your desired location on your PC or Mac. Unzip the file and launch After Effects. Go to File and Open Project. Then locate your project file. In our case, it's going to be Modern Multi-Frame Opener. Once you open up the project, you will see a number of different folders in this project. The first one is edit, the other one is final, and then you've got some others in there as well. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is obviously we need our own content. We need our own footage footage and images. For this project, what I'm gonna do is to bring some, what I'm, for this project, what I'm gonna do is to bring some stock footage, which I've downloaded from Envato Elements and create a new folder for it because I like to keep things tidy. So I'm going to call it videos and simply double click on it. Go to your folder where you have saved all these videos or whatever you have. And I'm just going to select all of them. Control A and import. Now, once they're imported, just make sure you drag them into the folder that you want to keep them in. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is go to the edit folder here and select the images subfolder. And all of these are now individual compositions. What we need to do is to bring each and every video that we have just imported into these compositions. If you have images, that's fine. If you have videos, that's also fine as well. Just depends on what you want to do in your project. So the first one is image 02. I'm going to go in there and you will see some more compositions inside of this. So simply click on each of them and drag your video footage or the still image whatever you have into this composition so simply i'm just going to drag the first one here it will be something like this and when you play it it will look something like this okay so fairly simple then cross this so we close this and we go to the next one. The way that they have designed and put together this project, um, it looks like this is all the same image, which is absolutely fine. Okay, let's go in there. And again, we have our own footage in there. Okay, so that's good. Next one, I'm gonna close this image 02 and I'm gonna go to the next one, which is image 0101. Okay, now we do, we're gonna do exactly the same thing. Go to our videos folder and just drag whatever folder we uh, sorry whatever video we need and go in there and just make sure that the video size is large enough to cover the screen okay i think this should be fine go into the next one and basically you do exactly the same for all of these compositions in this project Click S to get the scale properties so that it just fits the, the screen here. Very simple. In the same way, go to the composition image 0105 and download any video footage that you want here. So I'm just going to drag this one and disable or hide that one. Click on S to bring the scale properties and just reduce the size for this one. And obviously you can see that this is chopped at the top and bottom. This is already predefined uh, composition. You can change it if you want, but it will mess up the whole 
final composition so I would rather not do that and just keep it as it is for now and we'll see how it goes. So in the same way I'm going to do the rest of the compositions, bring the videos into each of the compositions, stop the video here and once I'm done I'll show you how it looks. So now I have completed all my compositions and I have imported all the video files that I wanted in each composition. The next part is basically I will close this images folder and the next one is we're going to go to the logo folder. So it can be your company logo, your channel logo, whatever it may be. You can bring in whatever you want. So in here, I want to remove this text logo and I will bring my own, which is actually in here. So I've just downloaded this again from Envato Elements. And I'll just click S for the size properties scale properties rather and I'll just reduce this a bit and there you go I think this looks good now cool okay so we are done with the logo now you can change the music if you want you can bring in your own audio file if you want or if you have one that you want to use for me I'm not too concerned because this is just a tutorial so I'm gonna leave it as it is the next one and the last part is changing the text. Now you can just leave it as it is or you can change it to whatever you want. So the first three I'm going to leave it as they are. So 010203 I'm going to leave them as they are. Actually I will change this as well. Let's see multi-frame modern and then what was the other one? Slideshow. So okay, we'll keep we'll keep these as they are. And for the fourth one, I'm just gonna bring some local flavor to it or my own flavor to it. So what I am gonna do is just change this to GFX capture. Now, if your text is too big or it goes out of the composition uh, window here, you can always just come in here and reduce the font size. Simple, very, very simple. There you go. Okay, so done. Next one is go to 601 and I'm just going to leave them as they are actually. Okay, so once you've done all of them, make sure you're happy with what you've downloaded, your audio, your videos, your images, all the text as well. The final part is to see how it actually looks like as a final product. So for that, simply go to final comp and there you go. So bring your so bring the pointer over here and let's play. So this is it guys, I hope you liked the video, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, follow me on the socials and we will see you in the next one, thanks, bye.